Let's talk about how to drive a horse, the reins and the commands. Some of you guys ask me about driving. When I drive a horse, if I want to have a good connection with the horse's mouth, I need to sit straight up. All right? Like your, po your uh, posture. Posture? Yes? Like a little straight. You need your shoulders back. Uh, so you have your arms along your side. And uh, you have a little short reins. So you can have your hands a little in front of you. You cannot drive a horse with really long reins because if anything happens, you'll be too late. And um, I like to hold on to the reins like this with a thumb on top. Or if I think it's uh, slippery reins, I like to have them like this. That's because I'm a rider as well. Um, you see, when I yeah, hold the, the whip, I wanted to hold it like this, like a 45 degrees angle and uh, it's away from the horse so I don't accidentally touch him. Um, and and my, my hands are not real wide, I want them to be like this because I want to be relaxed in my, in my back and in my shoulders and I want to have a nice overview, like the horse has a nice overview. And the way you the, the way you feel when you drive, the horse can feel it. So if I am um, anxious, he will feel through my reins that I am anxious, and he will be anxious. So I'm uh, I'm uh, quite uh, I'm thinking about that I have to be in a, in a good mood when I drive. So I have a nice contact with the horse's mouth through the reins. And when I want him to, to stop, to stand still, I say, and he stands. That's his command. The command for walk is, uh, and my command for trot is, uh, and if I want him to canter, I just say, Gallop or gallop. That's his command for canter. Uh, this horse doesn't know how to canter yet. He, he's trying to learn how to stand still, walk and trot. To stand still is a walk. And if I want him to trot, I say shh. When I drive a horse, I want the reins. I like to sit on them. I put them right here because then I know that the end of the rein is not going to get stuck in the wheel or be dangerous. You don't want the rein like hanging around. And when I ask the, the command for um, making the horse uh, make a halt, then I just say, Brrr. all right, he stands. Or if I want him to stay, the command is uh, stall, Norwegian. <laughs> okay, so walk, we'll walk. And if I want him to trot, I'll go like this. Oh, and if I want him to um, uh, have less, less speed, then I say, oh, and then walk, or, or, oh, because then he starts to listen to me. If you drive up here, you want the horses to know their names. So you can say to one horse, like this one, I want him to know that I call him Groman. Groman, then he knows I'm talking to him. If you have a pair, you want the horse to know if you're talking to him or to his partner. That's why the horses, they need to have short names so they can know their own name. When I drive a one, one horse, one in hand like this, I prefer to uh, hold my reins like this. Stop. A lot of people hang on to them like this, but because I'm a rider, I feel I have better grip if I do this. When you drive a horse, you need to sit straight. Sit up with your shoulders back, no tension, 
and with your arms along, close to your body. You want a little angle in your elbow and you want the, uh, the thumb to be on top of your hand. Or if you want to use your whip, you, you should have your, ha your hands like this and then you can make him go to the left by doing this and you can make him go to the right by doing this without messing around in his mouth. So experienced drivers, they drive a lot with the reins in one hand. In, in the beginning when I drive uh, young horses, I like to have one in each. I like to do this. But you need to learn how to drive with the reins in one hand if you want to drive a pair or you want to start driving four in hand. My experience is if you drive with the, the, the reins in one hand, the, the contact with the horse is quieter and the horse will be more soft in the mouth. The horse can feel uh, how you feel through the reins. So if I'm anxious and I'm tense in my, in my hands and my arms and my back, the horse will get tense. He can feel it through the reins. If I am relaxed, have a good overview of the situation and, and, I can, and I have soft contact, then the horse will be relaxed. But you cannot be sitting like this because then the, the contact is bad. Or you cannot be sitting like this because everybody sees that you're a little worried, you know, and the horse can feel it. So you have to just think about something nice. Think about something you like. And then you'll just enjoy it and you'll sit straight up and you'll look out around and you'll have a nice overview of the horse and the world and whatever and, and things are going good. Simple as that. The less you move the hand, the better it is. You, you want to keep your hand still, soft and still. And uh, just like you want the horse's mouth to be soft and still. If you don't have your hand still, you cannot expect the horse to have a quiet mouth. Oh, 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 skritta. Skritta, bra. Flink ut. Duktig. Flink. Bra. Flink ut. Ja, bra. Flink ut. Okej, okay. och så sån. Bra. Okej. Okay. So if you want, need to shorten your reins, you just do like this. Then you can adjust your reins real easy without messing in the mouth. Want to turn? Do like this. Uh, come on. Bra. Bring. And you can have... You can use your whip independently. Without messing around in his mouth. That's the good thing about one hand. All right, I want to go straight. I want to go left with this. And when, I, when he straightens out, I just let the left hand go. All right, that's how you do it. If you want to turn right. Oh, you do like this, right hand. Oh, skiritta. Good. And like this. Okay, now they're too long. I just do this. So you can easily adjust the reins. <laughs> so you cannot sit with the reins long like this because if he runs away, I w you wouldn't have a chance. You need to have short reins. Hands in front of you. And you can easily make them move to two hands. Command for backing up is up, 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 up. You can actually pat him with the whip as well. He knows that the whip is, you know. Ah, being good. Bra. Oh. Ah. Ah. Jekti. You're welcome to have more questions. I like to talk about horses. 